One UI 8 is already making waves, and yes, even though many Samsung devices are still stuck waiting for One UI 7, the tech world doesn't wait around. A Galaxy S25 ultra-running Android 16 with One UI 8 has been spotted in action, making it clear Samsung is fast-tracking the future. According to Ice Universe, they're completely skipping One UI 7.1. Normally, this point one update drops alongside new foldables, but not this time. Why? Because Google is pushing Android 16 earlier than expected, likely landing in May or June. Rather than wasting resources on a minor upgrade, Samsung is going all in on One UI 8 with an expected preview around June or July and a stable release potentially launching with the Z Fold 7. One of the first noticeable changes users will see on the Galaxy S25 lineup is a redesigned status bar featuring a pill-shaped, interactive media player button. It was teased in One UI 7 beta, but mysteriously vanished in the stable release. Now it's finally coming back. Also, that irritating charging animation glitch? Samsung is ironing that out too, on the Android 16 side, there's a big leap forward with external display management. While Samsung tablets already support second screen functionality, Android 16 brings this capability to smartphones. Even better, users will now have PC-style screen alignment, letting them position their phone's display relative to their monitor. One UI 8 introduces decal shader animations, bringing smoother and more fluid transitions across the entire user interface, building on the improvements seen in One UI 7. Android 16 complements this by adding system-wide forced dark mode, including support for legacy apps, and testing an ultra-low brightness setting for better nighttime usability. Another visual enhancement comes in the form of HDR screenshot support, finally preserving vivid colors and contrast when capturing content on HDR-capable displays. Expanding personalization, One UI 8 now allows third-party widgets on the lock screen, a feature previously limited to Samsung apps. Performance optimizations continue with improved adaptive refresh rate tools in Android 16, giving developers more control to balance fluidity and battery life. Meanwhile, Google is testing its own version of Samsung's Now Bar and Apple's Live Activities, dubbed Live Updates, a dynamic, real-time progress indicator for tasks like deliveries or ride shares. The split notification and quick settings panel is also making a return, inspired by previous implementations on Samsung and Apple devices. To enhance user focus and security, Android 16 introduces a notification cooldown feature that gradually reduces the intensity of repetitive alerts, excluding essential notifications like calls and alarms. In a significant move against scams, the OS will now block users from enabling sensitive permissions like app sideloading or accessibility services while on a call, preventing common exploits used during fake tech support interactions and finally, a long-requested feature is arriving. Battery health percentage. While some Samsung users got a sneak peek of this in One UI 7, it wasn't universal. Hopefully, One UI 8 will bring battery health monitoring to everyone, not just a select few, 